No, Mario, you're not tired. <laughs> you're not tired. We're still recording. Hey, guys, this is Shell Kirby 707, and welcome to... I almost said Paper Mario. No, Super Mario 64. In the last part, we took damn Bowser and Bowser in the Dark World. And he gave us a key, but he's not defeated just yet. This is just the beginning. And we also explored a new world, which is Big Boo's Haunt, which I really do love. But we faced everyone's childhood nightmare, the haunted piano. Chomp, 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 chomp. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, in this part, uh, since we have the key that we got from Bowser, we can actually unlock the basement. And this is actually still the same record ses session since the first episode. Yeah, if you guys could tell by my live count, this is still the same day that I'm recording. So anyways, we unlocked the basement, so we can explore new areas, and we also got another big door, which is hiding Bowser behind it. So this one, it takes 30 stars to open this door, you need 13 more stars. Thanks a lot, genius, I know how to do math. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, we're in the basement now, so we can explore new worlds in this episode. Oh, I just remember something. Uh, there's something here that I gotta chase down. Oh, there's a toad here we can talk to. Wow, you're ready to recover that many stars? Way to go, Mario! I bet you have us out of here in no time. Be careful, though. Bowser and his bad band wrote the book on bad. Take my advice when you need to recover from injury, collect coins. Or you can just find water and just float in it. So yeah, coins and water, they heal your health meter. Simple as that. Um, are you here? Yes you are, there's a rabbit here. And I had a hard time with this rabbit, I seriously do. Like catching this rabbit, if you catch this rabbit, he'll give you a star. So I want to catch this rabbit, which it probably took me like two minutes to get. No, budgers. Like seriously, it took me like five minutes to get this stupid bunny. All right, you're going that way, good. No, 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 how did I miss that? Come on. Come here, rabbit. No! Ah! And I, I burned myself! I burned myself! How did I burn myself? Come on, you rabbit! Wow, I'm failing right now. I don't burn your butt again, Mario. If you get a lose a life from this, I will yell. I don't know. Ah, come on, you stupid rabbit. I'm very bad with getting this rabbit. I, I am. Oh, come on. Like, seriously, I'm very bad with getting this rabbit. I always run into the corners. No! No! No, 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 no. Come here, rabbit. Come here. No! Ha! Ah, the camera! Come on! Come here, rabbit! No! How did I miss? Dang. The hitbox in the DS version is so loud better, man. And I did not want to. Come on! Ouch. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, isn't it? I'm just gonna spend my whole episode just trying to chase this bunny down. Seriously. Come on! We're just going to service right now. Come on, stop it. Here, go that way. Thank you. Okay. Come here. Okay. No, how did I... Frick! Come on. I hate this rabbit. The hitbox of gave this rabbit is a little bit difficult and I ran into the wall break. Mario, stop hitting the wall, jeez. Man. Oh, come on. I'm having a hard time getting this rabbit. Come on. Get the rabbit! Sheesh. Ugh, come on, man. It's been like five minutes on this, sheesh. Come here. Alright, let you run off. No, come on. Alright. There we go, finally. Sheesh. Yow, unhand me, brute. I'm late, so late. I must make haste. This shitty thing, mine. It's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch, take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be, I have a date, I cannot be late for tea. That's what the rhyme, sheesh. <laughs> and that rhymed as well, when it says sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh, tea, yeah. 
I know that rabbit kind of reminds me of the rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Just saying. <laughs> Anyways, if you capture the rabbit, you get another power star. So, yeah, you do want to capture that rabbit. And after that, the rabbit just stays there, just looking around. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyways, after spending like three minutes on catching that rabbit, we can actually go to a world and get another power star. Speaking of power stars, there's actually another secret star that we can get. If you talk to this toad, let's talk to him and not punch Mario. Hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you do lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the court where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario, you have to help her. Did you know that there are many enemy worlds inside the... Enemy worlds. Okay, that's what you call it. Yep, that's true. Battle of the Truth are there too. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. So, you might want to talk to all the toads that you come across in Peach's Castle, because some of them do give you power stars. Like this one, like, like this one for example. Anyways, you got another power star. Alright. <laughs> I mean, at least we're making progress, but I actually want to get into a world. Alright, so anyway, you got another power star. And. There's this little disgusting ink stuff. Kind of reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine with the black ink. It just reminds me of that. But this is actually another world. If you step inside, yeah, it's actually Core 6, which is Hazy Maze Cave. Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Alright, so Hazy Maze Cave, um, not one of my favorite courses, to be honest. I did have a hard time with this when I was a kid, so yeah. But there is something very special in this course that we'll be getting a little bit later. Alrighty, um, so the swimming beast in the cavern. Oh! Really? Well, first death of this game, finally. <laughs> um, yeah, I did not mean to fall through that gap. That was a disappointing death. I just happened to fall in between the gaps and fall through. Well, there you go, guys. That's the first death in Super Mario 64. Woohoo! Alright, like I was saying, um... I don't know what, what I was saying. Um, there was actually a star up there, but that's not the star that we're after. Uh, we're going... Well, there's two ways that you can go, but this is the shorter way to do it. And I know this is a little bit dangerous and risky to do, doing long jumps and try not to fall into the pit. Oh crap, no, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare fall again. Oh no, it was a little risky jump, but eh, it's a shorter way to do it. But anyways, if you pass the rolling rocks and go through this door, you'll find another star, but once again, it's not the star that we're after. At least we'll contain a one-up, yes it does, alright. Uh, let's get this one up, we got more than enough. And if you step on this panel, it's actually an elevator. But I'm too lazy, or too impatient. We're just gonna fall through. And here we have the secret cavern of the swimming beast. And that swimming beast is. Where are you? It's this little creature, this cute little dino creature, who is named Dory. Yes, uh, Dory! She's so adorable. Is it he or she? I think it's a she. I mean, Dory is a girl name, right? Because Dory, I find the name of the girl. Alright, so, anyways, um, Dory much is uh, a little creature that you can ride on. If you pound on his back, I'm so sorry Dory, you can ride on his head. And by doing this, you can actually control the path that Dory is, you know, swimming through. Um, as you can see in the distance, there's actually a door there, but I'll tackle that door later. It's something very important that we need to get to. But right now we're here to get the star that's in the middle. This is the star that we're after. And there we go! There's another power star down! Alright, now we're up to 20 stars. Wow, we need, we need 10 more to unlock the big door that Bowser is hiding behind. Alright, so we continue. Um, let's just head back into Hazy Maze Cave and tackle another star. Alright, and here we got... Oh, this one. Eight red coins. Uh, I really don't want to do this right now. Can I do another one? Uh, we could go for the 100 coins, but I think I'll tackle that later. Uh, huh, huh. Mm, 
know what? I'll tackle this later. I, I don't feel like doing the eight records in the Age Cave. Uh, let's tackle the uh, a world that, or actually a world that we've been through. So we did Bomb on Battlefield. Uh, let's do let's do a uh, Thwomp Fortress or Womp Fortress. So no, it's Womp Womp. Womp's yeah. are the the tall guys. Womp's are the blue guys. I can't get those names mixed up. But anyways, uh, we got star number three. Shoot into the wild blue. This is actually a short one. Pickle. But we do need to open the cannon, so we gotta find that pink bomb on and open the cannon for us. This is a very short star, so I think we'll tackle one more star and then that'll be it. Hello, bomb bomb. Hello. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Well, thank you. You're right nearby, so thank you very much. Alright, um, let's see. I don't know what star he's talking about. I think he's talking about that one or a different one. Actually, I think it's this one over here, the one that's near the pole. I think this is the right star. Hopefully, I'm right. Um, oh boy, this is a little bit difficult to get. Um, I think you're supposed to aim toward that wall and then you'll get it. Uh, hopefully, this is high enough. There we go. Yes, hit that. There we go. Hit that, and then go down here, and you'll get the star. I believe this is the right star. Hopefully I'm right. If not, then that's okay, but I like to do the stars in order, at least what the name implies. Okay, yeah, I did the right one. Good. I was thinking of a different one, but this one is the right one. Alright, so there we go. Easy star is easy. Alright, I think I'll tackle one more star, then I'll call it an episode. Okay, let's go to Jolly Roger Bay. <laughs> I think you kind of see what order I'm doing this in. I'm kind of like doing every world by order. Like, taking one or two stars in order. I don't know. There's no particular order I'm doing this in. I'm just doing random stars, whatever I feel like doing. So, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna get another one up. Like, I need more. Alright, let's see what this one is. I don't remember the star. Oh, this one! Treasure of the Ocean Cave. This is also a quick one. Sure, I'll, I'll tackle this one. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, this one has the green block again. Yeah, you're gonna see a bunch of these blocks all around, so we'll be finding that green switch later. Alright. Um, since I'm here, there's actually the pink bomb, so I might as well talk to him to open the cannon, because we're gonna need the cannon for later. Alright, so he prepared the cannon for us, and it's all the way over there. We're gonna need that for our later star, so might as well open that right now. Alright, thank you, good sir. And I'll be heading off to get another power star. Yeah. Alright, if I can jump up here. Okay, whatever, Mario, whatever, whatever. We'll just go down. Alright. So the ocean cave is actually down here. And there's Mr. Eel swimming around again. The creepy nightmarish eel. I swear, this eel it really scares me when I was a kid. It really does. Alright, so let's go through here, and we're in the ocean cave. Alright. So if we go through here, there's going to be pillars that will be falling on you. Just run through them. That's pretty much it. And over here we have four treasure chests. Um, you have to do this in order. And I believe I remember the order. I think this one's first. Yep. And then this one is second. Yep. Okay, I remember the order. Three. And four. And it's practically easy. Nice. And I think I got the star. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I got the star while I was in the air. Nice. And there we go. We got another star down. Man, we're talking a lot of stars in this episode. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we continue. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what to do. I guess we could go to Kuko Mountain to, you know, end it off. Uh, I'll see what the star is, and if it's a red coin star, then I'll tackle it later. Because I want to do the 100 coin stars with the red coins. Uh, yep, it's a red coin star. Never mind. I'll do this one later. I, I really don't want to do red coins right now. Uh... You know what, guys? I think I'll just end it off here. I mean, we got a lot of stars in this episode, so I think I'll just end it here. So anyways, next time on Super Mario 64, uh, I, I think we'll go to Hazy Maze Cave to tackle the 100 coin star and the red coins. 
Hopefully I don't fail in that one, because I actually did in my practice run. I got like 70 coins and I fell into a pit. Hopefully I have a better time in the next episode. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, this is Shaw Kirby, Simmons 7 saying, bye!